pastor of First Baptist Church in Dallas, Fox News contributor Dr. Robert Jeffress. Good to have you back, sir. Thank you, Shannon. I want to read a little bit more of that piece. Uh, they go on to say on the backs of the hardworking kids, because they're not, they don't want to insult the kids that are playing in the tournament. They say the university will seek to rewrite the narrative of their school into one of athletic victory when in fact it's steeped in bigotry and an exclusionary fundamentalism. Uh, these folks say the, the school shouldn't even be part of the tournament because it doesn't line up with NCAA values. <laughs> well, look, I mean, this is March Madness that we're witnessing with all of this. And, you know, when you think about it, for the so-called inclusion editor of USA Today to call for the exclusion of a basketball team or a school because of their religious beliefs, I mean, that's the height of hypocrisy. And it proves the adage that many times those who cry loudest for tolerance are the most intolerant people when it comes to ideas they disagree with. And look, Shannon, people may not agree with ORU's belief that marriage should be between a man and a woman, but that's hardly an extreme or fanatical belief. For 3,000 years, that's been the teaching of Judaism. For 2,000 years, the teaching of Christianity. And if you allow this kind of cancel culture to exist, where do you stop it? I mean, what about Catholic universities like uh, Notre Dame or uh, Gonzaga uh, that are part of the Catholic Church that opposes abortion or women's reproductive rights, as it's called? Should they be excluded as well? I think it's time for this irrational intolerance of people of faith by the left, especially people of the conservative Christian faith. It's time for that to end, and it needs to end now. Well, you know, there's a piece uh, in uh, rebuttal in the USA Today talking about from Chick-fil-A to the Salvation Army to this baker in Colorado, Jack Phillips, who, by the way, is going to be on with us tomorrow. We have to decide whether we want to run everyone out of everywhere they dare to go with their biblically based ideas. Maybe we could just let the religious college kids play basketball without becoming a national controversy. That is what tolerance used to mean. I mean, do you think there's space for people to agree, uh, disagree about these are hot button issues that they don't have to endorse each other's view of the issue. Can we find that space? Well, I hope we can. But again, I mean, it is not right to try to force uh, beliefs on people. ORU is not trying to force their beliefs on anyone. The fact is those students are there because they volunteered to be there. And I think there's a lot of confusion, Shannon, because people say, well, the Supreme Court has uh, legalized gay marriage. It's legalized abortion. The Supreme Court has the authority to decide what's constitutional, but it has absolutely no moral authority to decide decide what is right or wrong, and neither does the NCAA or neither does USA Today. That's something for the purview of faith. Okay, we're just about out of time. So I just want to say a thank you to you and your team there at First Baptist Dallas. Um, huge contributions to my new book that is coming out next week, The Women of the Bible Speak. Folks can check it out at foxnews.com slash books. But I tell folks all the time, you answered theological questions, you helped me with um, thorny issues, and your team was a, a, just an essential resource. It wouldn't have come into being without you all. So thank you very much. We can't wait till Tuesday. Thank you, Shannon. Thanks, Pastor.